What's up guys, Mac Daddy Michaels here. He just pulled up. You know that truck's huge, you know it's well stocked. So let's go see what he's got today. Y'all, come on. Has it been hot enough for you this week? It's been awful. I mean, it's been <laughs> it's awful. Bad. Yeah, it's been bad this week too. It's uh, it's been a chore keeping this the big thing cooled down this week. Oh, imagine AC not doing it, or just because of the heat. It 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 cools good, but whenever that door is opening and closing, opening and closing, you know it. It's just hard to keep it cool in here. Yeah, you got a you got a lot of real estate to uh, to try to cool off of it. Well, you got two roof units though. Mm -hmm. So well. The big air conditioner in the back that runs when the engine's running, and then if you crank the generators, you can run the roof airs too. So well, that's cool. That's a lot of AC moving. It is <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Well, I know uh, I talked to you before we turned the camera on. And there was some people talking about how awesome your torque wrenches mm -hmm. are. So if you got some of them, we'll show one got of them one off. Got one of the uh, half-inch drive angle torque wrenches. The TWZ 250FD. It, uh, so it's a 250 pounder, huh? Mm-hmm. It's up to 250. Flex head. Uh, it's got your lights that'll go up as you get to your right. poundage that you want to be at. And And to do your foot pounds. The one thing that we noticed on here too is even though you set it at foot pounds that you can click it over. Didn't it do inch pounds all ago? Yeah, I think it was foot pounds, inch pounds, newton meters, and angle. And it's triple A's in that one too? 15 to 250 foot pounds, two double A's. 15 to 250. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it said on the back. That's pretty good. Right there. You can't beat that. So. Yeah, that's a good looking torque wrench. I like the way the handle's made on it. Mm hmm. And, it, and it's a hard plastic versus, you know, a real rubbery that's going to mm -hmm. get spongy over time or. Yeah. Do you know what you the warranty it. is on those as far as, um, is it probably a year on the? I believe it's a year. The digital part and probably a lifetime on mm -hmm. the gears. So, yep. That's a pretty nice torque wrench. All right. And I know we've talked uh, a few times about our, all of our precision torque wrenches and I mean our precision torque regular wrenches. Mm -hmm. um, I've got in some more of our expert wrenches that I don't think we've really looked at before. Um, that's just your regular combination wrench, rat, ratcheting wrenches, but they're also got the flex heads on them. Oh, yeah. So, they... Uh, Non-reversible or are those reversible? Non-reversible. you got to flip it back and forth. they got a nice beefy handle on them and Those are nice. I like the flex heads on those because a lot of times you need just a little room mm -hmm. to to get in there. But it does have a nice handle on it. And are those a good bit cheaper than the Mac ones? They are. Well, I mean, they are cheaper. As far as a good bit cheaper, not necessarily, but they are cheaper than the Mac ones. Do they offer a six point in those? Not in these. Only a okay. twelve point. To get a six point, you got to go to the, the Mac. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a fan of those six point ones. I really, really like them. I'll put that back in there later. Um, and two, I don't know if you've seen these yet or not. It's the. Oh, those are cool right there. Double ended, 
flex head ratcheting wrenches, long ratcheting wrenches. There's the part number, because I know somebody's going to want a set of these, too. I like those. An 8 and a 9, a 10 and 11, a 12 and 13, a 14, 15, 16, 17, and an 18, 19. How much is that set? I like that. <laughs> I might have to get those. That's a nice little old set right there. And have you heard anything on the new baby nip eggs? People are starting to get them. Uh, I've got to call and check on those today. That's on my list of things to do. Man, those are some nice wrenches right there. Like that the set is 341. That's a nice set. I'll take this plastic off so you actually see them here. Yeah, I like the length of those. They don't have bulky heads on them. They're real small and skinny where they can get in places. And I wish they was reversible. That's the only negative I see about them. But a lot of your reversible ones that have a button here or something, though, if you're ratcheting, a lot of times you, you'll bump it or flip it or if you're in a tight spot. I've got a non-reversible ratchet and wrench stuck one time. And it was not pretty. Not not a good day. It was not. It was not pretty at all. It was terrible. If those were reversible, I would buy them. But I vowed then when I finally, finally, <laughs> it was a nightmare, dude. When I finally got my wrench back, I said, "Then that's it. No more non-reversible ratchet wrenches ever." Because it was a. I'll just be honest, it was a hell of a mess. <laughs> Bad, so. Not enough room to pry it off or anything nope. like that. Like I run her all wet because I thought the boat was going to come out. I was like, well, it's getting close. Surely it's going to come out. Nope. So I learned then. I said, I'll never, ever own another ratchet wrench that is non-reversible. Because it was a lot of work that I had to do to, to get that back. That's pretty cool right there. Water pump sprocket holder for a gym. That is neat right there. Not something you need every day, but when you need it, you need Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So I found these on the back wall, and I asked Michael about them, because I think that'd be super handy. Multi-direction hose clamp pliers, SD1118. You guys can see how these work. That right there, everybody has been there trying to take off those hose clamps. And yep. it never fails. You'll have it on there and the dead gum thing will pop out or pop off. So I think you said these were 30... Thirty-eight ninety-nine. Thirty-eight ninety-nine. Well, I'm gonna get them because that's thirty-eight ninety-nine. Of one day, I don't have to cuss doing one of those with those spring clamps. <laughs> 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 so that's well worth that. Well, good deal. So I see you've got like I am such a fan of those cases, and so far. The wrench set that I have, and I will be so glad when Matt finally puts the metric set on sale like they did the standard set. Because I love those wrenches, but this is super cool. And once again, non reversible. I like that case though. A lot and they offer the six point version of these right i believe so do they offer a reversible set or are you just stuck with a non -reversible? a reversible flex in that mm -hmm. i'm going off of this book this book isn't always right i'm sure they probably it's do a little the, outdated on me i'm sure they probably offer the regular flex or the regular ones 
six point ratchet, stubby ratchet, flex six point metric ratchet, and flex six point standard ratchet. Um, but they're not reversible. Gah, that sucks. So is the regular ratchets the non-flex heads? Or are they reversible? Non-flex heads are reversible. Okay. Well, that's probably non-flex heads that's are the, reversible. That's the probably the direction I'd go with those. Good man, you need some wrenches in here. I know. <laughs> I need to straighten them up a little <laughs> you bit. You ain't got but. no wrenches at all. The guy comes on this trip looking for a wrench, and you don't have it. He's in trouble, ain't he? Never fails. You never have the right ones, though. <laughs> uh, this is a neat little set here. Stubby. Ratcheting. In the cases you like. Reversible. Heck, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. 12 point, but I also found out this week, we also have 6.0. That's awesome. That was not in my book. I had to call and find that out. But maybe one day we'll get a new updated book again. Let me check that out. So they do have the six point. Man, that's nice right there. Smooth too. That's a really nice little set. And for a three quarter. Oh yeah. Small as that is. Reversible nice. ratcheting. Super nice. Man, yeah. What does that set normally go for? Let's see. Cause I like that. Ow. Too much stuff hanging in the safe. <laughs> Man, you got a lot of wrenches in here. I'm definitely looking forward to Mac putting those on the um, the promo deal. 249. Okay. 249. That's not bad. The metrics on that promo deal because I have really, really enjoyed those. Have you? Those wrenches. I like the angle that they have on them. They're right. I mean, it, and the cases are. I like how the the open end is crooked. Yep. And then you got a little bit of offset crook to the box end as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just. Whoever designed them, they they used a wrench for a little while. You can tell it wasn't some guy that just drew it up on a drew it up on a computer <laughs> and said this is going to work. So. They did a good job on it. Short barrel air hammer. That's got the bits included in it. It is, that's the kit. That's a nice set. So we got a cool new video coming out Sunday. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, let anybody know about it too much, but Matt guys will definitely enjoy that video Sunday. It's a uh, it's pretty cool new good. stuff. Pretty cool new stuff that you guys will get to see. So hopefully y'all will check it out come Sunday. But we're going to get the pliers for sure. And I'm going to think about the reversible stubby metric set. Because those would come in handy. All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check our merchandise over here. Cool tools, discount codes over there. If you're not subscribed, click that button right over here. It's totally free. never costs you a dime. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.